Now, what about the tighter rules for people who worked in the civil service using their expertise afterwards? I mean, I'm not accusing you of anything at all. In fact, I'm, I think the Institute for Government is a fine institute, but presumably you're using some of your expertise and maybe even your contacts from your time in government working for the non-profit organisation that you work for. Uh, where should the line be drawn? And that, that demonstrates the uh, uh, sort of fuzziness sometimes of these things, doesn't it? I went through an ACOBA process that then put certain constraints on me and said, you, you know, you can't use this, this bit of knowledge or this, this uh, expertise for a couple of years after you leave government. And that seems completely fine and reasonable. From talking to uh, others who've been through the same uh, process, I think the consensus view is that um, uh, it just about works for those who want to comply and go through the rules and 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 and, and do what you're supposed to do. It doesn't work at all for uh, those who don't. So Eric Pickles, as the head of uh, ACOBA, can send uh, very pointed letters uh, to the Cabinet Office, you know, perfectly uh, rightly, um, but there's no bite on those rules. But so if you want need to, to be put into law uh, with sanctions law. for those people who don't follow it. And it's and it's difficult then because you, you you're you're um, trying to regulate someone's behaviour as a private citizen, um, and I I do think there's a case for strengthening these and underpinning them with some law. I don't think you can then get very very prescriptive about exactly what somebody can or can't do. Um, but I do think there needs to be particularly where uh, you know money is involved. You pointed out the Institute for Government is a, a not profit a, a charity and so on. But where, where somebody is is uh, uh, is is um, potentially personally benefiting. Uh, financially from those things, uh, I think the, the the rules do need to be tighter. Probably not forever, um, because there's a there's a half life to contacts and to knowledge about uh, government. But uh, uh, perhaps longer, particularly for those uh, most senior people uh, at, at the top than the, than the two years that it is currently. 